Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, March 22nd, 2018 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I nurture the I am of my soul. And today we have Mercury going retrograde. So Mercury will be retrograde from today until April 15th. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting tax day for those of us in the States. Um, <laughs> it is retrograding from 16 degrees to 4 degrees in Aries. And the really strong message I get is what I've been talking about over the last couple days. This is an opportunity to pull in and know yourself. What I get is it's time to soften to your I am. Uh, not Mercury. Mars. Aries energy has such a young outward active energy but with a retrograde this is a beautiful opportunity to pull in to soften to utilize the flip side of young which is the yin energy and really soften to yourself get to know yourself tune into your i am aries to me is that energy where you're closest to where you came from and it's when you have that purpose, that drive, like this is my mission and here I am coming into it, like I'm going to dive in. But with this retrograde, okay, part of me getting into my mission and doing the drive, uh, being driven by my purpose is going to be by me being authentic to who I am, really getting to know who I am. Now, I love that this is happening at the same time as Chiron finishing up in Pisces. Chiron will be moving into Aries out of Pisces as of April 17th. So as Chiron is moving forward, helping us shift out these karmic energies, clear off these veils and energies we have been carrying for years, centuries, lifetimes, all through our ancestry, as Chiron's doing that work, we're pulling deeper within to really get to know ourselves on another level. And this is going to take some mental work. Mercury is that mental energy. So really taking a moment and making that your focus point, really focusing in, who am I? Okay, I'm going to focus in on softening to who I am. I'm going to nurture the I am of my soul. That's going to help you do this work. Now, let's be fair. Mercury retrograde has a reputation. It has a reputation for technology going haywire, wonky, communications being off. There absolutely is going to be part of that. What I always think is interesting is how we respond or react to these energies. With Aries energy, there is a strong potential for fiery reaction. However, if you're really in touch with who you are, there's a good chance you can temper reaction into response in a way that is true to the I am of your soul. So really pay attention to that. And if you do feel that fiery nature coming up with this Mercury retrograde in Aries, this is also an opportunity to look and see where there may be blocks and you may be feeling blocked around your passion or you may be feeling blocked around your I am. There's that call to defend who you really are and that may be behind some of the reaction energy. But if you are nurturing the I am of your soul, then you're not really going to need that reaction quite as much. <laughs> uh, I have some really interesting cards and I'm going to dig into them right now with this. Um, oh all so good. Oh my god, they're all so good with this. We're going through a rebirth. And I think this has just as much to do with Chiron as it does with the retrograde process to renew rebirth. There's the re actually right there in the card. But it, this is happening. It's ongoing. As part of the process, we have to let go. This is actually upright. We have to let go. And I feel like this let go has to do with like I said, the karmic energies, those attachments that we've been held on to. What's going to bring us to that rebirth and completion of this process in this cycle is letting go of the fighting. Why are you in reaction? <laughs> Do you have to be in reaction in retrograde or can you be in response? Can you be responsible to your I am? Can you respond in a way that's true to you? And maybe, maybe that response will seem a bit like, a Pele volcano. You know, you have to really be true to your responsibility. But I also believe that we have responsibility to everybody in the world to not take our stuff out on anybody else. And that's hard. Let's all pat each other on the back. That's hard. <laughs> um, but really, 
be vigilant about that through this retrograde. This is an opportunity to shift from reaction to response in a way where you are being really true to you and you bring it back to yourself. And there you have the master. And I know this is the innocence card. It is the sun card. That is a card of beautiful success. Um, but it, it's a master. Here is the master enjoying, enjoying the bug. And I always say with this card, go out and look at some bugs. <laughs> but it's true. Get into the innocence of your I am. And that's going to help you right into the rebirth and completion of this cycle, this process. I mean, the energies have been intense. Oh my God. But this is, this is the work that's happening underneath all this intensity. So besides Mercury retrograde, we have the sun today in Aries connecting to the moon in Gemini. Like I said, the moon in Gemini is very interesting being that Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So we may get a little bit discombobulated and you may be wanting to take action even through the discombobulation. Get clear. Tune into yourself before you take that action. Keep doing that process through here. That's why we have, I think, this, this essence right there. Do that. <laughs> Get clear. Center in. Ground in. Nurture your I am before you're like, I'm going to take action because otherwise I think you're going to cause more mercury retrograde snafus. Be very clear. Get very clear with the yes within yourself before you're like, action. Okay. <laughs> uh, the moon in Gemini is also going to connect into Neptune, 14 degrees. This is, again, mental crosswords, discombobulation, confusion in your own mind, confusion between what you think, what you've been taught, the data that you're collecting with this esoteric knowledge that you're collecting with what I'm saying. Oh my God, it's all too much. I'm confused. Drop in. It's not about what I say. It's not what anybody else says to you. Drop in. What is this moment telling you? There's a bit of a crossroads that you're at. Drop into yourself Trust yourself. Trust your own responsibility. And if you're doing this work, you're going to be able to trust your own responsibility. I also do want to mention that we have Venus moving into a square with Pluto. This feels like that same kind of thing where Pluto transforming society. Pluto's like, ah, this is the way things have happened, but it's not the way things are going to happen anymore. And Venus is like, I just got to be true to myself. And there's a little bit of this resistance going on. Resistance and... uh Discombobulation is the word that keeps coming. <laughs> Self-love. Self-love is your path through all of this. Nurturing the I am of your soul is your path through all of this. Oops. Hey, art. <laughs> I just hit it while I was trying to get my Quan Yin card. So to finish up, the Quan Yin card to support us in and through this. Oh, this is so good in light of my reading. Okay. <laughs> Pat myself on the back right there. Sister of Shambhala shows the way. Guidance. Shambhala is a sacred spiritual place where many highly advanced spiritual beings are said to reside in service to the spiritual evolution of humanity. The only difference between these beings and the rest of humanity is the degree to which their will is in alignment with the divine. This oracle brings you a nudge on your path from the holy ones, a loving but definite push in a particular direction to fulfill your divine destiny. You'll feel the guidance for what steps you need to take and when from within your own heart. If you ever waver into impatience, Aries, Aries, Gemini, or confusion, come out of your head and listen closely to your heart. You'll know what you need to know and when you'll need to know it. Trust in the beings that love you unconditionally and trust in yourself. See, it's so good. In a reading, rely more upon your team of spiritual guidance for assistance. This will not weaken you in any way or diminish your empowerment either. It will instead allow you to be supported so you can support others too, which will strengthen the entire chain of life's connection to divine love. This is a situation that benefits from every being, from helpers to those being assisted. This oracle brings you particular guidance that you do not need to be alone, even if you find it difficult in the physical world to make connections with others who are perhaps not as consciously on the path of spiritual knowledge this lifetime. You can still experience connection with powerful souls who are advanced in their own way and learn to love and be loved as you journey through your life. If there is any matter with which you have reached a dead end, then know this matter needs to be sorted out on a spiritual level. Trying to fix things at the psychological, emotional, or physical level will not get you far. You only take a step or two, only to slide back to the same difficulty again and again. 
It is a situation that cannot be rectified at the human level. Spiritual adjustments are sometimes needed. It is just the way of things, and you have been given assurance by the brothers and sisters of light who help you in this process that they will do so through the healing process. So, the sisters of Shambhala shows the way. Call on your spiritual guidance to help you, especially in the discombobulation. Be vigilant of reaction versus response. Drop deeper into your I am and just take advantage of the spirit of retrograde to realize you do not have to dive in. Even if there's that urgent feeling within you, get clear first. Let this retrograde be a time where you get really clear and then act. So that is it for today. You can always book a reading at GaiaBlooming.com. The better it gets, the better it gets. And there is enough love in the world for you. Namaste.